Hello and welcome back to the lesson 11 of the tutorial series simulating your custom robotic arm in ROS Noetic. In our previous tutorial, uh, we had created a new ROS controller for our MoveIt manipulator package and we had edited the simple MoveIt underscore controller underscore manager dot launch dot XML file so that it will show us the correct ROS controller. Now in this tutorial we will create our new or custom launch file because the uh, launch file generated by default by the uh, move it setup assistant have some issues. So uh, let's start with our task we will create our own launch file to load everything that we need to uh, simulate our robotic arm. The first thing you need to do is you need to go to your catkin workspace the SRC folder your manipulator package and the launch uh, folder. So I will open a new terminal. So type the command cd your catkin workspace name then the src folder and the move it uh, underscore robot arm underscore sim and the launch file. Then click on then press enter. Now we are in the correct folder. Now we will create a new uh, file, new launch file. So type the command or you can copy this command. So we will create a new uh, launch file with the name full underscore robot underscore arm underscore sim dot launch. So click on enter. So it will create a new uh, launch file. So in this launch file, you need to copy and paste this code. And here you only need to replace the code or the part of the code which is uh, given with the purple or violet color. So on this line include file uh, find uh, robot arm urdf launch here you need to give your urdf uh, file name and here you need to give your package name uh, I forgot to make it uh, violet but here you need to give your uh, package name of your robotic arm that was exported from SOLIDWORKS and the urdf file that we had configured. So this will open your URDF file. Next, you need to launch the move group node. So you need to give here the move it package name or move it manipulator package name. And here it will have the move group dot launch file. So if you don't know where this file is, uh, if you open your uh, catkin workspace, your SRC and the move it manipulator package that we had creating using created using move it setup assistant. If, if you open the launch folder, here you will find the file move underscore group dot launch. So this file will load all your move groups and the joints uh, associated with that groups. After uh, loading the move group, you need to uh, open the RVs and uh, sorry, you need to give the argument use RVs as true. Then we will open our RVs uh, simulation uh, simulation. So here it will be this uh, move it RVs. So this file is also available in the launch folder. If you see here, you will find that file here move it RVs. So here you just need to replace your uh, manipulator package created using uh, move it setup assistant. So replace this name with your package. So instead of uh, typing it manually, I have uh, already provided uh, one here. If you have created uh, the namings uh, differently, you need to modify this. So here I have uh, my uh, package, my URDF package name is robot arm URDF and the launch file name is the arm underscore URDF. Here I have given the uh, my move it manipulator package name and same I have uh, given the move it manipulator package name. So copy this file copy the code, go to the text editor and paste it here. So make sure your naming conventions are correct and save it and close the file. Now we have created our uh, launch file. Next step is uh, we will launch it. But uh, again, if you face any difficulty to create this launch file and you are using my uh, packages or following same step, you can download the ready to use launch file from here. Now to launch our uh, launch file that we have created first we need to build our workspace and then we will launch our uh, launch file. So first thing first open your terminal go to your move it or catkin workspace and press enter type the command 
source devil slash setup dot bash and press enter. Now type the command catkin build. So uh, see if any errors occur because if you have done anything wrong, it will show you uh, errors here. So for now, all the packages are successfully built. Now again, type the command source devil slash setup dot bash to source the setup dot bash file. So all the environment variables will be loaded. Now before launching your launch file, open another terminal and run the ROS master. So type the command ROS core and press enter. Once your ROS master is started, again come back to this terminal and type the command ROS launch your uh, move it manipulator package name my one is move it underscore robot underscore arm underscore sim and give the name pull robot arm sim dot launch and press enter so here it is showing me like something is issue like uh, invalid ROS launch xml syntax not well uh, formatted line 5 column 4 so let's see what issue is there so if i open this so if you see here uh, the issue may be with this so i will uh, adjust this correctly and again i will take it uh, to the bottom uh, you need to check if somewhere anything is wrong so maybe uh, this may solve my issue so again i will launch the file now you can see it has successfully launched because the comment this was taken on the new line and it was not working correctly. So now uh, I will close this and if you see my terminal if you open it you should not see any issue other than this PID gain error. If you see any other issue if you if I scroll up So this was the error that I had faced uh, previously but after I launched it after correcting the issue you can see here uh, no any error is there. Everything is correct uh, successfully loaded you can see this is the PID gain error and here you can see all my controllers are successfully launched. Uh, you can see the joint state controller, robot arm controller, the hand effector controller everything is successfully launched. And you can see you will see the message you can start planning now so our launch file is successfully executed and everything is loaded successfully if you face any kind of issue please uh, go back to the previous tutorials and follow them correctly and if you are not able to solve the issue please write your comment here I will try to help you now I will uh, minimize this terminal and uh, I will arrange this RV's window and my gazebo window so that you can see them simultaneously. It is a little bit of uh, difficult to work with single monitor to in this kind of work but uh, let it be. Now let us set some predefined positions of our robotic arm using RVs. So if you go to RVs here if you go to planning here you will find various commands. So first thing here is command uh, here you will see plan and plan and execute uh, command then here you will see planning group so here you can switch between different planning groups I will select arm group current state so the start set I will set as current state and you can set any goal set from the predefined positions so I will select it as a straight up suppose for now and now uh, if I so you can see in RVs it will show how that position looks and I will click on plan and execute so here uh, you can see that the robot is moving very slowly in the gazebo uh, this is happening because the velocity scaling is set to 0 0.1 here so if you hover over it you can see the value is from 0 to 1 so to make our robot move faster you can make it 1 and uh, now if I try to give another position like pick object and if I click on plan and execute my robot will uh, move a little bit faster like with the uh, velocities that we have uh, provided in our URDF file. Now uh, I will uh, select my hand uh, group and uh, position I will give it as a hand opened 
and I will click on plan and execute so it will open the end effect now the uh, here you can see it is little bit of uh, displays because it has a kind of uh, got into the ground because uh, the predefined positions we had set up were not very accurate so uh, to solve this issue you can try to change the position of your uh, arm group so I will go to the uh, opposite uh, pose and I will plan and execute so it will take your uh, robotic arm to the opposite position now again I will go to the uh, drop position and I will click on plan and execute so it will place the uh, robotic uh, sorry it will uh, go to the uh, position to place the object again I will uh, go to the light uh, the uh, lift or straight up and click on plan and execute now if you are not satisfied with the uh, velocity of your robotic arm and uh, also if you want to make the changes uh, if you want to set the velocity scaling and acceleration scaling to 1 by default uh, please follow me so first of all I will uh, close this running simulation so this uh, yellow line the error we faced because our end effector was uh, going into the ground plane now to adjust the velocity of our robotic arm uh, two things you need to modify first go to your catkin workspace and the src folder and open your robot arm urdf package and go to its urdf and open the urdf file with the text editor now here you need to find the join definitions so if i show you so you need to find all the joint definitions so I will go to joint 1 so you need to go to joint 1 and here in its uh, limits you will find the velocity set to 3 so I will change it to uh, 6 and I will do it for all the revalued joints so uh, for joint uh, 1 to joint uh, 5 I will change the values to 6 or higher if I want and again do it for joint 5 for joint 6 and joint 7 I will keep it as it is now save the file and close the text editor also uh, then uh, you need to come back to your move it workspace again open its src folder now uh, we want that when we launch our launch file the uh, YML file sorry the RWIT should uh, take the uh, velocity uh, scaling as 1 by default so open the move it robot arm simulation open the config folder and here you will find this file joint limits.yml so open that file now here you will find we have defined here the default velocity scaling and the acceleration scaling so change these values to 1 and also here you will see uh, various uh, joint 1, 2, 3 so make sure you change this velocity here as well as per you have added in the URDF file so I will uh, change this value to 6 for uh, joint 1 to joint 5 save this file and close this uh, file again open your terminal and again launch the full robotic arm simulation file So oh, some errors I am facing like wait for service okay so it will uh, takes like sometimes it uh, takes some time to connect with the service now if I close this so here uh, you can see now in uh, RWIS the velocity is scaling to 1 by default let me again arrange this stuff So now let me give some position like uh, straight up if I click on plan and execute you can see the uh, robot is little bit of faster 
uh, the uh, it is moving faster but you may see it slower because my CPU is not very faster and it uh, takes some time to uh, visualize this stuff but if your configuration is faster it will uh, work very fast on your end so here this position has some issue because the end effector tries to go into the ground position so again I will go to some other position opposite and I will click on plan and execute So in this way, you can simulate your uh, custom robotic arm URDF in ROS and Gazebo and give some uh, commands to move that uh, robotic arm. In our next tutorials, we will uh, give, uh, try to give these predefined positions using a Python file instead of moving it or giving them manually using the RVs commands. So please stay tuned and uh, do not forget to like the like button and please subscribe my channel if you haven't yet and also share the videos with your friends who are interested thank you so much